better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. There. Gotta get those robots off the streets. Seems like everyone has a robot army but me! Don't die, don't die! Stay on your feet! Watch it! That wasn't too rough. Joyriding? You're not allowed to drive joyfully in New York! He's following us! Go! There are easier ways to get my attention, you know! You made this easy! Here in New York, we like our roads safe. Ish.
are looking shockingly good. Updates on the trial of the century, the people of New York versus Norman Osborne. You remember Devil's Breath, how Mayor Norman was indirectly responsible for poisoning the city a couple years back? Well, his lawyers have slowed the march of justice down yet again with more delays. Our source inside the courtroom tells me they're bringing frivolous motions to prolong discovery. <sighs> yeah, thought I'd see you guys again. Time to check out that crystal. Someone's watching us, Kimia. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. The hunters were after him. They were watching Marco. And someone named Kimia. 